Welcome to Engine Classes YouTube channel. In this video, we will consider a very powerful tool for the computation of uh, DFT. So that we call it as matrix relation for the computation of uh, DFT. So this I said a very powerful tool uh, while computing the DFT. DFT can be computed in a very conventional way, but that process is very tedious and time consuming. So making use of the matrix relation, I can find the same DFT in no time. So before considering any numerical, first what we do is we'll try to understand the theoretical concept behind the matrix relation. So how do we arrive at the matrix relation and how do we write the matrix? So if you understand that very well, we can solve uh, any DFT uh, in, in the later videos. So first I'll consider uh, the, the DFT relation. So we already know the equation x of k. So x of k is the DFT of the given sequence x of n. So x of k is equal to summation n equal to 0 to capital N minus 1 x of n, small x of n, the given sequence into wn to the power k into n where wn to the uh, wn is the twiddle factor wherein the term k varies from 0 1 till capital n minus 1 so this is the equation to find the the dft of any given sequence in a conventional way so i'll consider this i'll make use of this and arrive at uh, my matrix relation so how do i do that uh, let me, let me first expand this by, by for the various values of k. So I know that k varies from 0 to n minus 1. So I'll first put what I, what I do is I'll uh, find x of uh, 0. So how do I find x of 0? So in this expression put k equal to 0 as simple as that. So first I'll write uh, wn terms first. So wn to the power k into n. So I, I already said k is made 0. And uh, what is n? So n takes the values from 0 to n minus 1. So first I'll put n equal to 0. So it is uh, 0 again. So here x of n, x of 0 here. So plus I, I'm expanding this uh, summation. Wn to the power k, k is 0 into n, x of now uh, n is 1 x of 1. So here wn to the power 0 into 1 it is 0 again. So this is what uh, we get. Plus in the same fashion it continues till the last term. What is the last term? wn to the power k into n. k is 0. n is the last term is n minus 1. 0 into that term is still 0. x of n minus 1. So this is what we get at the first go. Similarly, continuing this in the same fashion, so next I'll try to get x of 1 by putting k equal to 1. So how do I proceed that? So I'll get wn to the power k into n. So now uh, k is 1 but n is 0. It is wn to the power 0 again. x of 0. Because initially n takes the value of 0 plus wn to the power k into n. k is 1 and n is also 1. So I'll get wn to the power 1 x of 1. Next n takes the value as 2. So what do I get? wn to the power k into n k is 1, n is 2, I would get wn to the power 2, x of 2. In the same way it continues till the last term. What is the last term? Last term is wn to the power k into n. So, what is k? k is, I already said, uh, it is 1. And, uh, what is n? n is taking the value as n minus 1 and x of n and n takes the value of n minus 1. So this is what I get uh, for x of 1.
similarly continuing I'll, I'll just do one more iteration and towards that I'll write the last one so I'll put k equal to 2 let's see what do I get by putting k equal to 2 this becomes w n to the power k into n so first n takes the value 0 yet k is 2 0 into 2 it becomes 0 then x of uh, n x of 0 plus similarly w n to the power k into n now k is 2 n is 1 so it becomes w n to the power 2 x of n that is 1 plus w n to the power k into n so now uh, k is 2 and n is also 2 it becomes 4 w n to the power 4 x of 2 continuing in the same fashion I would try to get the last value w n to the power k into n so what is uh, k now k is 2 what is n? n is the last term that is capital N minus 1 x of n that is capital N minus 1 because small n takes the value n minus 1. So this is what I get towards the end. So continuing this in the same fashion so I will continue everything till the last value of k. So what is the last value of k? Last value of k is n minus 1. So for that value I would try to write well, what do I get? So for that the last value of k is x of capital n minus 1 equal to. So what do I get? Here continuing in the same fashion w n to the power k, k is n minus 1 into small n that is 0 x of 0 plus continuing in the same way w n to the power k into n k is n minus 1 and small n is 1 so it becomes uh, n minus 1 x of 1 plus w n to the power k into n k is n minus 1 uh, small n is uh, 2 it becomes 2 times n minus 2 x of 2 continuing in the same fashion what do I get towards the end so let's see that w n to the power k into n k is n minus 1 and n also is n minus 1 so it becomes n minus 1 into n minus 1 x of last term is n minus 1 so this is what I get towards the end so next thing is uh, how if I look at how does this look right so what I do is I'll try to just uh, rewrite it so in the in terms of matrix so if I look at uh, this way so I'll just change the color so if I look at these values so look at these values they are uh, capital X of 0 1 2 till n minus 1 so it, it looks like a matrix so I'll write everything as capital X equal to equal to what in terms of every term has wn so I'll write wn and uh, every term wn is getting multiplied with x of 0 1 till n minus 1 so that I would write it as small x so the entire thing whatever uh, I have got here so far I have written it in terms of matrix relation that is capital X equal to wn into x so if I look look at here capital X it is n cross 1 matrix capital X is if I look here so it is uh, first row second row third row till n minus 1 so from 0 till n minus 1 it has uh, uh, n n terms cross 1 so that is a column so how many column there is only one column hence it is n cross 1 matrix similarly uh, small x if I look at the small x here that is also in the same fashion so capital X and small x both follow that is both are uh, n cross 1 matrices and what about wn wn term has same number of rows and so same number of columns that is uh, n cross n matrix so it, it follows this fashion so knowing this further 
I could write the final matrix. So how, how, how can I write that final matrix? So for that I'll try to write, I'll just try to rewrite. So here I would write this as capital X of 0, capital X of 1, X of 2 and similarly the last term that is capital X of n minus 1. So this term I'll just put it in a matrix. So let me draw the matrix for this. So this entire term whatever I was saying this this looks like a matrix. So I'm trying to just put the matrix for that. Yes. So now it's ready. Equal to equal to what? It, it has the WN terms and later X terms. So what is WN terms? So every row, if you look the first row, so I'll just go up and if you look here at the first row WN to the power 0, WN to the power 0 and towards then WN to the power 0. So that I would write it onto the first row. So I would get here, we'll just change the color that will be for the first row that is X of 0, WN to the power 0, WN to the power 0 and uh, wn to the power 0 similarly continuing the last term is also wn to the power 0 so this i am trying to put it in a, another uh, matrix uh, wn term which is uh, n cross n matrix which i already said so this will be n cross n matrix so that's what i am trying to uh, write here Yes. So for this I said the, this is also a n, cro n cross n matrix, the WN term. Yes, the matrix is almost ready now. Yes. So what is there in the second row? That I need to check. Second row I'll just go up and if I check for the w, uh, WN term, that is WN to the power 0, WN to the power 1, WN to the power 2 and lastly WN to the power N minus 1. So that's what I write on to second row. So here it is available, I can write it. I said that WN to the power 0 first term, WN to the power 0 second term, W, uh, no, second term it is uh, WN to the power 1, sorry. Third term WN to the power 2 continuing in the same way I got towards the end WN to the power N minus 1. Correct? Uh, similarly continue I'll try to write the third term. Third row. What is there? WN to the power 0, WN to the power 2, WN to the power 4 and lastly WN to the power 2 times N minus 1. Hope you all are understanding. So I'll just keep it here. Yes. So I would write Wn to the power 0 first term, Wn to the power 2, Wn to the power 4, continuing in the same way, the last term I have is Wn to the power 2 times n minus 1. This is what I get in the last term. Continuing in the same way, everything I could write the last term. So what is the last term? So here I would look, just look at the last row that is Wn to the power 0. I would write the same thing Wn to the power 0. So next is Wn to the power n minus 1. That's what it comes. So I would write Wn to the power capital N minus 1. Next term Wn to the power 2 times n minus 1. So it is 2 times capital N minus 1. Similarly, the last term. What would be the last term? Wn to the power n minus 1 into n minus 1. The same thing remains here. n minus 1 
and here also n minus 1. So this is what w term says. Uh, this is getting multiplied with small x. So what is small x? It is uh, x of 0, x of 1, x of 2 till the last term that is uh, x of n minus 1. The same thing uh, I'll, I would write it here. So it is x of 0, x of 1, small x of 2, continuing the same way, lastly x of capital N minus 1. So this also I would uh, try to put it in a matrix. Yes, uh, matrix is almost ready. So this is what the matrix rela uh, relation for computation of endpoint DFT. So whatever I got, this WN term is a 4 cross 4 matrix. This is uh, N cross 1 matrix and this is N cross 1 matrix. So finally this I would call it as matrix form. So, uh, once we understand the theoretical concept of this, solving the numericals is very, very easier. So, whatever the numericals we have, we'll consider them in the next video. Uh, in this video, we have considered only the theoretical part behind how to arrive at that matrix. So, here everything has explained, uh, has been explained step by step. Hope this video was very helpful to you. Thanks for watching.